welcome back to day two. Catch day two of King of the Hill, hosted by AOAreplays.com. My name is Netput, and I'm hosting tonight with... Hey guys, Cruelty here, back for some awesome action here of the King of the Hill. Today, in the first match, we got Salami against Ganon. Um, Salami beat Birdie in the first round of King of the Hill. For the first time viewers, uh, King of the Hill is a tournament uh, hosted by AOA Replays.com as said. Um, basically, Salami is the king now. You can challenge him. You can challenge him as well. Whenever you beat the king, you will be the new king. So that is what we're going to watch tonight. See if Ganon can beat Salami to be the new king. Exactly. All right. Um, it seems it seems uh, the chat wants you a little bit louder. I'm not sure if that's possible, but. Um. Louder. Hmm. Let's see that before we start the match. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe just uh, use uh, OBS, or it's already maxed. Yeah, it's already maxed. All right. It is maxed. Maybe it's yeah. better like this. Is the yeah, sound level better compared to you uh, to the other one now? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. If it is wrong, just give a shout, and I will adjust it again. Anyway, let's start the replay off in three, two. One, go. In the All bottom, right. we've got ZX Ganon playing as the USA in blue. Uh, he's actually playing as Cartel, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> as Cartel. Lol. Right. Um, up at the <laughs> top, we have none other than our King Salami playing as the Red US Army. <laughs> Great mistake there. Well, it's a new game. Mistakes like that happen. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Alright, uh, we see Ganon starting off with a very early barracks. He's gonna try and capture that bank ASAP, I think. Also starting with that oil refinery right there in the back. Indeed. Well, for people that are new in this game, you can capture the banks for oil or the refineries and get some basic income to produce units. Exactly. Right, up in the torf, we see Salami doing uh, pretty much the same, also got that barracks pumping out units to grab his close by bank as well as getting a uh, refinery on the oil field. Indeed, quick expansion, quick money. He's a bit later with capturing the bank though. Yep, and we can actually see Salami already has a second refinery on the oil field uh, in front of his base as yeah. well as getting that refinery on the aluminum patch in the back. So we see Salami now really getting a bit of an eco uh, advantage, getting those three refineries out really quickly. Indeed. Well, we only see the bank and one refinery from Ganon. And this is partially because of Ganon building a sniper early on. He was a bit afraid that Salami would rush him with, multiply, uh, with more than one resource unit. As you can see here now, so the scouting unit, the recon team is going out. Yep. And the sniper takes a shot. Ah, oh, no oh, shot. It just gets away. Gets That's away there. All right, we can now see Ganon finally getting that second refinery up on the aluminum patch. Yeah. Trying well, to get some aluminum. I would have preferred to see him play as a Mondial. More money. It would have been a better choice in my opinion because the Chimera is relies heavily on money, uh, on gold and I don't know. I don't really like it on Alu. I know you do, but it would. It's not my <laughs> preferred. Yeah. Build order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, the the upside of getting this uh, this fast aluminum is, of course, uh, having access to outposts, which increase your economics uh, immensely if uh, if used uh, straight away. You can see Ganon already placing down uh, a third refinery on the oil as well as the outpost right next to it yeah you know, all the mining distance gets shorter but it's a big investment investment early on i mean 1500 bucks for quicker mining i'm not sure if that's a good trade but time will tell time will tell time will tell indeed all right we see salami now actually uh moving down towards his uh, secondary bank all the way up in the east corner of the map we can see some marines moving there so indeed. when he does capture it it will Grant him a nice economic boost. Yeah, 30 bucks every second. 
Yep, that is correct. Which is quite nice. He also scouted the entire right side of the map, so he knows what's available there. So if this game lingers on to be going to the late game, it's nice to know where to place your refineries down. Yep. And we can see now Salami is already going for that second aluminum refinery, which is, um, I don't know, maybe a bit strange. I would like him to go for a third oil before going for a second aluminum. But who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe this is the new meta right now. Well, it kind of depends on what he's want want to build. If it's heavy alu dependent, why not? Yeah, that's true. He's probably gonna try and get some uh, some MGS strikers out, as well as maybe a uh, quick uh, Defcon 2, in order to get that uh, elusive tusk upgrade, which doubles the strikers HP. Yeah, indeed. Which is obviously a lot. In the meantime, Ganon is going for the bank as well, running around. Go felons, go capture the precious bank. Exactly. And in the right. meantime, upgrades are being built. Full extraction protocol on the bottom left alu field. Yep. And I think he already has it on his second oil, right? Um, he's got a lot of uh, yeah, he has to, uh, oil or cash there. He, he needs to get uh, maybe an extra extractor or, or something. Oh, there it is. He just uh, sent one over from his aluminum field. All right. Oh, we actually see some action over here on the west side. Uh, Salami being very active with his surveyor, trying to deny uh, the bank for Ganon, and he managed to actually hold off. Uh, yeah, it's a, a good catch. Minutes. Yep. He's going to kill it or not? No, he's just going to use it to scout. He wants to know what he's up to. Always a good thing. Yep, exactly. A sniper near the entrance though, so if he enters, he will be shot by the sniper. Yep. Alright. Well, uh, we finally see that uh, Spear Vehicle Bay. Oh, d did you notice that Salami did not put the units in the bank? No, it did not. <laughs> the <laughs> just standing there. Which is a bit of shame because you can yeah. just rally point onto a bank and your the units that come out of the barracks will automatically just enter the building. Yeah, it must have been a misclick. It must it must have been a misclick, exactly. <laughs> That's not the, the thing Salami usually does. <laughs> no, that, that might cost him a bit. Yeah, it's a solid player. A new refinery going down though, though another oil field, top right. Exactly. Well, it is really an economical game so far. Yeah, it is, it is. And, you know, with uh, Ganon now having that spear vehicle bay out, he's trying to get uh, some Pumas up and running. Yeah. And he's actually made a second spear fact vehicle factory. So he's, he's gonna really pump out a lot of these um, Pumas and try and do as much damage as possible. Do you think his economy can handle this? Um, on, <laughs> on three refineries and two banks? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Well, I think it's possible if you got three oil refineries. Yeah. yeah with got, with the, with the uh, the outpost near it, then it's possible. But this is a bit optimistic. Yep, it is. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. He even has a lot of failing infantry units as well. So maybe he's gonna try. And uh, oh, there we go. He got the upgrade for the Pumas, where you can actually load in soldiers. So he's just gonna try and transport these soldiers. Well, and importantly, you also get more armor. If yeah. you have this upgrade, which is... So it's a really important upgrade. It is, it is. That right. means he keeps producing a lot of units. Yeah. And the timers keep on going, so... Can he actually handle it? I see no delay in the... But on the yeah. other end, I mean, this is a bit of an all-in. If he does not kill the game right away with his attack, he is done for. Yeah, I, I think so too. He's, he's just not not expanding enough. I mean, he, he's trying to get his his fourth refinery over on the uh, west side with that extra outpost. Uh, yeah, but he should have got it before the second war factory. Yeah, I think so too. And now we can see actually some harass coming in from Salami. We see three MGS strikers upgraded, coming in, and he already has the upgrade with the, the tusk. So yeah. Double the HP, and they are going to wreck some collectors right here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, gets two of them already. That's pretty huge. And here we can see Ganon has a lot more stuff, but 
but you can see yeah. he's actually moving into a choke or some sort, so he's actually losing. He lost three tanks right now. Is he gonna lose a fourth? Almost. <laughs> wow. Losing three against just one. Yeah, the lethality That's... in this game is so high. It is, it is. Oh, really and high. two snipers on the top left near his secondary bank from Ganon. Clearing the bank. Oh, huge loss here now. Yep. And you can see in the war factory, he cannot handle this. I cannot handle the production from two. Nope, no. Nope, factories. Nope. Um, he I... is, however, upgrading uh, his, his eco and getting that uh, refinery on the west side upgraded. But losing the bank to the snipers of Salami yeah. is really unfortunate. It is. Salami is so way ahead in economy right now. I mean, what can Ganon do? He has a few tanks too, and he had a bunch more somewhere. I don't even know where. Yeah, I, th I think the biggest mistake here is going for double double spear vehicle but on only uh, only those three factories. Yeah, he's he's really behind right now and he can't really expand while Salami is just sitting happily on six refineries now right now, three oil and three aluminum, uh, pretty evenly split, which is perfect because the uh, MGS strikers cost 500 of each resource. Oh, so. he, he's just being shredded by those upgraded strikers, man. Yep. They are really, really good. What do you think, like, maybe if he would have gone for, like, the sword protocol and then extra soldiers, would have that been a better idea? Yeah, I think I think that would have been, uh, been a lot better. I think I think he could have gotten away with uh, going for uh, five refineries really quickly. Or yeah. maybe just four and then maybe even get terminators, but extra soldiers is a, a really great way a great intermediate because you almost always have already got the barracks built since yeah. you captured those banks. Well obviously terminators are a better idea but they are quite expensive to get. They they are quite expensive. To yeah get the them. initial investment of four thousand uh, credits is a lot. It is a lot, yeah. Now we can see so many MGS strikers from Salami pouring in and uh, I don't think Ganon can hold this right now. No, it was a bit of harassment on the top though, and the bank got cleared. But I mean, six tanks, seven, eight tanks from Salami. Yep. I mean, he, he only has four tanks. There's not that much he can do. Nope. And with losing that refinery and that outpost, it's a huge blow to his economics, and he's even gonna lose his last, rem his second last remaining uh, oil refiner here. So he's gonna be really, really crippled for oil. Which is really the only thing he needed, he needs right now, because he's only producing those Pumas. Yeah. Well, five tanks against eight. <laughs> this is yeah. nearly impossible. This is this is uh, nearly impossible. Even the best the micro more. will not help here. Oh. One tank down, seven this to go. Is gonna blow. Oh, oh! The collector blows up right into Salami's face, but doesn't yeah. do that much damage because he does have that. Precious Tusk upgrades giving them so much more HP. Yeah, they are so strong. The only thing that will help is like outnumber him totally or just out tech him. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think a great counter to this is just Exo Soldiers because um, the Pumas take what, two or three hits uh, from these and they, they'll just die, and Exo Soldiers actually can take four. They cost way less than a Puma, so yeah, I think those would be a, a would have been an excellent choice here. Yeah, and meanwhile his expansion is getting shredded as well, so I can't see any way Gannon can come back back from this game. No, me neither. Um, alright, just killing off these last uh, couple of tanks right here. There we go. He's already killed or sold the barracks, and there we go. GG. GG. Game 1. Salami 1. Alright. So what happened and what could be done better or different? Well, um, I think I think Ganon went a little too heavy on the on the spamming of those Pumas. Mm -hmm. I think he could have uh, exploited a, a, a bit more resources by adding one or two extra refineries and you know really just n not staying on tier one i think if you've gone tier two yeah so 
he was too greedy, not in the econo economic department, but in the war department. He wanted too much too soon. Yeah, exactly. Alright, well, let's get into game two. See if he learned from his first mistake. Yep. I am ready, so you can do the countdown if you want. 